Good morning, good morning. It's Wednesday of Holy Week. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well this morning. So, I got my coffee back this morning, so I woke up early enough to get some brewing. So, all right, well, this morning we're going to start off uh, with a reading in Isaiah and then of course the psalm reading and then we're going to Hebrews and then with the gospel of John so let's get started Um, Isaiah 50 verses 4 through 9a so as always may God bless the reading of his word so here we go the Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher that I may know how to sustain the weary with the word morning by morning he wakens wakens my ear to listen as those who are taught the lord god has opened my ear and i was not rebellious i did not turn backward i gave my back to those who struck me and my cheeks to those who pulled out my beard i did not hide my face from insult and spitting the lord god helps me therefore i have not been disgraced therefore i have set my face like like flint and i know that i shall not be put to shame He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? All right. Oh, that's awful hot. (laughs) All right, the psalmody, uh, Psalm 70. And it's only five verses. Okay. All right, here we go. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those be put to shame and confusion who seek my life. Let those be turned back and brought to dishonor who desire to hurt me. Let those who say, Aha, aha, turn back because of their shame. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. But I am poor and needy. Hasten to help me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer, O Lord. Do not delay. All right. The epistle lesson this morning. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, Let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us. Looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God, consider him who endured such hostility against himself from sinners so that you may not grow weary or lose heart. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. All right, the gospel according to St. John, chapter 13, verses 21 through 32. And here we go. After saying this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, Very truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter, therefore, mentioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, Do click quickly what you were going to do. No one at the table knew why he said this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, Buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out, and it was night. And he had gone out, 
And when, when he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. And this is the word of the Lord. All right. Well, during Holy Week, the Revised Common Lectionary has a series of prayers. So I'm going to read a few of those. So let us pray. Creator of the universe, you made the world in beauty and restore all things in glory through the victory of Jesus Christ. We pray that wherever your image is still disfigured by poverty, sickness, selfish, war, and greed, the new creation in Jesus Christ may appear in justice, love, and peace to the glory of your name. Amen. And then, Holy God, who call your people to sustain the weary and protect the oppressed, uphold us in our concern and, and strengthen us that we may not, at, not only speak our prayers, but act on behalf of their fulfillment. Amen. And then, troubled God, in every generation, you call your people to contend against the brutality of sin and betrayal. Keep us steadfast even in our fear and uncertainty that we may follow where Jesus has led the way. Amen. All right, well, I hope and pray that you all have an awesome day and have a blessed Holy Week. And uh, as we come to uh, tomorrow's Monday, Thursday, so um, yeah, just have a blessed week. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we will see you tomorrow morning on Coffee in the Word. God bless.